Uh, speaking of which, you are famous for your exciting finishes with 11 of your 18 wins uh, being by way of knockout. Yeah, I just I like to go out there and try to pr produce finishes all the time. Sometimes they, they come, sometimes they don't. And I would love to be on that card. I would love to go out there and, um, and be a part of that. It would be absolutely amazing. I'd be an honor. Chato. Hello, everyone. This is Chador, the UFC commentator for TV and Sports in Korea. We are now joined by the UFC welterweight fighter, Brian Barbarina. Hello, sir. Thank you for joining us today. Hi, right, thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Now, the past 12 months has been great for you, winning all three fights. Uh, your TKO win over Robbie Lawler was astonishing, to say the least. How ready are you for your next fight? Uh, well, thank you very much. And uh, I'm super ready for this fight. I'm excited. Uh, it's another great matchup against another worthy, great opponent. Um, you know, for another former champ, and I'm excited to go out there and put on a, a great performance. Uh, do you think it would be safe for us to assume uh, that there will be another war in this fight? <laughs> Absolutely. I think uh, you can, can assume that in just about every single time I go out there, you can assume, uh, you know, a battle back and forth and uh, a war. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, you are famous for your exciting finishes with 11 of your 18 wins uh, being by way of knockout. Is this something that you consciously think about? I don't. I don't consciously think about it. Uh, I like to go out there. I like to finish. So I'm constantly trying to put somebody away, um, and it just you know entails that you know, sometimes it happens. If it doesn't, it's definitely a fight of the night performance either way. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just I like to go out there and try to pr produce finishes all the time. Sometimes they they come. Sometimes they don't. Wow. So so it seems like you're a naturally exciting fighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I try to be. You know. It, it excites me. I'm having fun out there, so I think it, it translates over. Now, uh, let's talk about your next opponent, Rafael Dos Anjos. Uh, he is the former UFC lightweight champion, but this fight is being carried out in welterweight. Although he had a good welterweight run in the past, many fans and experts believe that Dos Anjos is most dangerous in lightweight. What are your thoughts on this? Um, I think he's dangerous everywhere. I think, uh, you know, when he came to welterweight, um, he fought the top of the division. You know, he fought guys who were, you know, ranked close to title shots, you know, five, I believe, uh, ranked five and above, you know, everybody he fought. So, um, you know, he's fought the top of the top at welterweight. And um, so I think he's just as dangerous at lightweight as he is at welterweight. And honestly, I think he's probably a fresher guy at welterweight and is able to really push um, more at welterweight. So uh, I'm excited for him to be the best ever. Um, I want him at the very best, and I'm excited to go in there and test myself. And to flip this question, you have actually debuted as a lightweight in the UFC and knocked out Joe Ellenberger. Do you ever think about going back to lightweight? Uh, I actually can. I, I can't do it. It's too much. It's too hard for me to go back down to lightweight. If I'm going, if I'm going to change weight classes, it's going to be up. I'll be going at 185. Uh, fair enough. Now, uh, without revealing too much of your game plan, how do you intend to approach this fight? Uh, I just in intend to be in his face. You know, I int intend to put the pressure on him, and uh, as as I do, and um, really make him move move back, and you know, do what I want him to do. You know, um, make him. I'm not really worried so much about what he's going to do. I want him to worry about what I'm going to do. Wow, I can't wait for this fight. Uh, finally, any words to the Korean fans who will be rooting for you this weekend? Yes, I just really appreciate all the love from the Korea fans and uh, the support. And, uh, you know, just all the people who've reached out and said great things to me um, has been huge. I heard there's a card in Korea coming up, I believe. And I would love to be on that card. I would love to go out there and, um, and be a part of that. It would be absolutely amazing. I'd be an honor. And um, hopefully after this fight, I'm able to go out there, put on a solid performance, get the win, come out healthy and, um, you know, be ready for that career card. Well, we would love to see you here in Korea. Brian Barbarina, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time, sir. No, oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. Sunday, December 4th, the UFC returns to Orlando. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson looks to use his elite striking to turn back wild finisher Kevin Trailblazer Holland, plus knockout artist Sergey Pavlovich.
and tie to Avasa collide. Don't miss UFC Fight Night, live from Amway Center. Check broadcast listings.